All right. So there was a series of levels posted in the uh, in the Discord, which are a sequence of Wally levels. Um, and the creator specifically asked for feedback on them, so I figured, uh, why not play through them? Uh, hopefully my controller is set up correctly. Alright, we're good. Is that Mega Man 6 charge? That's 5. Rip. It's like HD Mega Man 1. <laughs> The rocks on like the outside. All right. Um. So a couple things right off the bat. Um. Number one, you saw when I fell there that that's called like a screen scroll thing, and it lets you see. In What's it called? Screen scroll jank? Or I think there's a name for it. But yeah, it lets you peek into screens that technically don't exist. Um, usually you want to put something there or structure the room in such a way that you can't fall there. But you can imagine like putting a ground in the lower left corner. So you're forced to fall a bit to the right. But you can also just put rain on that screen so it doesn't look that jank. Um, in regards to this screen, um, Having the ladder, where the health bar is, um, I'm not a big fan of. It, it obfuscates where I'm supposed to be going at a glance, and it sort of looks bad. So I just put it one tile at the left or right. Oh, I move on the screen transition. Oh, the rain actually makes this way harder. You can barely approach. That's interesting. Oh, I got got. <laughs> I love it when levels use interesting... Oh, I have weapons. I love it when levels use interesting interactions of different mechanics or weapons. Brave of you to put that in there. So it's all my weapons. Look at them here. Alright. Cool. Oh, another thing is, and this is even, even smaller than the screen scroll jank, is that the rain speed will actually change how fast the rain falls um so it's going from the the bottom part to the next screen up um you could actually see the rain was like desynced that's just a small polish thing i like that chicken because the way it's placed it forces you to immediately get up from the ladder essentially to deal with the threat and from there, you're incentivized to just start dealing with this thing immediately. As opposed to like camping on the ladder screen transition. That's unfortunate. I don't think I dislike about rain is when you land on the edge, but then it pushes you off. Unfortunate. It's just like a game mechanic thing. Not much you can do to like design around it. Let's try out the things I don't know. Oh, that's that. This reflects projectiles, I recall. Oh, and this is just awesome. What a good weapon. Oh, I actually love gravity hold. Then yeah, okay. Get him. Get him. Yeah, those guys actually go over the shield. At the homing missiles from X. 
Oh, I thought that charge shot would hit you. Unfortunate. <laughs> Skill issues. That actually feels really good. I would not be surprised if these are placed precisely with those exact jump heights in mind. Thank you. I'm just... Stop! That's a wonderful noise. She deals with it fairly well. Stay back. Flame shield, best shield. Cool. Uh, what are you weak to? It's the that. Bubbles. That makes sense. Let's go. All of it when weaknesses make sense. Ooh, the music switch. That's cool. This is just a really good song. Um, I'm gonna see that's an into death pip, but you should put drop shadows there. If it is a secret, then good for you. I guess. Same applies to- I ex If you didn't do it with one pit, I doubt you did it with any of them, so. so. Yeah, any drop pit should have the drop shadow to show that they are a pit and not like a secret. But if you do want to make one of them a secret, it makes her a pretty cool secret. This is cool. So earlier on the level, you have rain, where it affects you when you jump, but not when you're walking, and now you have the reverse. Oh, come on. Deal with it? Okay. Um, another thing I've noted playing so far is that you're seeking to use a fairly small amount of enemies, which is good. I think it's it's more interesting to explore all the interactions you can have between, why well, I despawned it, cool, uh, between a limited amount of enemies as opposed to just, like, keep throwing new enemies. Oh, spike drop. Oh, I'm locked in. Oh. Okay, that's really cool. I actually love that. Because you go in and you're like, oh, fuck, this was the wrong way or something. I have to find a secret way. And then there's the block and you immediately have to react. That's really cool. I love that. That's a, like, if you can craft like an, an interesting moment like that, I think that's almost always objectively a good thing to have. Because you can just put more cool platforming or whatever. But why not just add a little zest to it, you know? Oh, I bought my uh my slide button. Unfortunate. When I first came in here, I was unsure about how I felt about there being an enemy right next to the checkpoint, but you have like 10 seconds to react. <laughs> if you get hit by that guy, it's a it's your issue. Interesting. Oh, 
was close. I'm not risking this. I'm just gonna damage boost that. Fun. Cool. Oh. Alright, what are we looking at here? Let's go. I should love this boss. Cutman is by far the best boss for Mega Man 1. It gets not even close. That being said, he, his AI doesn't like jumping, so. <laughs> Bit of a easiest boss room to fight in. But yeah, I like that. I think, um... I think there's something noted in the Discord, but the aesthetics are relatively simple, which is fine. Um, it, no, not any, not every level needs to be, like, insane tiling and such, but if you can find, like, just, like, two or three tile sets to maybe mix, that can really help, or even just using one, you can use its different variations, um, just to create, like, interesting structures, because pretty much, you can imagine, um, your level as an outline. Right, so if I just load into into the level, um, oh, just yeah, it was my one five. Um, so look at this screen. Um, this is the outline of what actually matters. Anything beyond that, you can make, look like whatever you want. I'm not saying this screen looks bad. I'm just using it as an example. So like, um. Like in the boss hallway, there's literally only two lines that really matter. Beyond that, you can just go crazy with aesthetics or whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, did I not like it? Don't know what's going on there. Anyways, let's grab the next level. Oops. Uh. So yeah. Oh, this one's not liked as much. Interesting. I'll see what uh what we're looking at. Same items, that's cool. Continuity is good. Okay. Is this interesting? I think this is a bit cramped for you to fight. I think it's gonna lob massive shots at you. It's not egregious, but yeah. Yeah, this is good. This amount of, yeah. It's uh, I remember you guys. I wish those enemies just like didn't shield, or like they never. Once they stopped shielding, they just kept shooting, because. When they're just sitting there in their shield, they're never going to hurt you, and you're never going to hurt them. So I find that fairly unengaging. That's not a you thing. Like, as a designer, that's just, like, how the enemy works. This is cool. It's a reverse on before where you're jumping over it, where now you're jumping up into it to shoot. We got... What is this thing? I was gonna use fire to burn it off. I've never gotten hit by that enemy. Interesting. I didn't mention in the other one. 
Because it's one of those things where it's like, if it's done well, you don't really think about it. But if it's done badly, you know it. The checkpoint placement was good. That's tight. Okay, that was normal. Just gonna. This is one of the issues with these blocks. You don't have them load onto the screen. Like, it's their own individual screen. Then you have a very high chance of the player loading them in such a way that they are. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about there being a way to essentially accidentally skip the checkpoint by falling down to the left there. I would just remove that pathway entirely. Or make it like falling blocks or something. My bubbles. I'm a big bubble fan. Hey, you're with that. Oh, flight fall, flight fall. Let's go. I'm attuned. I think you could make the spike fall sections a bit harder. Better to make them too easy than too hard, though, so. I don't know. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's another screen scroll thing. Big fish. Not even close. I wasn't even worried. Alright. Oh, whoops. Focus on the enemy. Yeah, yeah, I will ignore you. <laughs> oh, I'm full health. I was like, why didn't that heal me? Oh, that's true. Here we go. This is a small thing, but I think it's generally better to start, oh my god, better to start the platform, these things, with the spikes up down, so that by the time you get to them, they're already on their side, as opposed to vice versa. Get away from me. Oh, 
All right. That's not very helpful. Whatever. It's not like it's my health running out that's killing me in these sections. No. I was focused on the spikes. I'd never seen them not line up. I guess I was going so fast. on the drop pit. I always jumped into the, the pit right before this. I was like, oh yeah, that's where I fall down. No, I didn't slide. Obligatory, feel free to skip forward if I take forever on this part, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> um. I think. I don't know. Is the section too tight? Is this a skill issue? I'm not sure. I suppose it depends on the author's intent. They want it to be this tight, then I guess they succeeded, but I will say this feels like a, a step up from before. It's like precision platforming between spikes. Whereas before it was like, I mean, it was into the pits, but none of this time you jump, not time, uh, only jump for so long and such. I'll play it safe here. That's fine. Nope. I will say, I'm also going to be annoyed if I beat this section and then directly beyond it is like... Pretty much anything that's either not a checkpoint and not easy. Snipe? Nah. He ain't got it. No. Mm. Is my... No. Okay, good.
and jump right. Hmm. Oh. If I have too much difficulty with this, um, I might just skip on to the next level in the series. Or open this up in the editor and just spawn myself right after that to see what the rest of it has in store. I suppose that the rest of it is just as difficult and it's just like the third level is also just as difficult as this section. Then that's, I don't know. Then it's not like an isolated difficulty spike so much as just a very sudden increase in the slope. But I doubt, I doubt that's what this, what's going on here. Pretty sure this is just a section that's designed too tightly. I suppose another option would be to move the checkpoint closer to it and then like add one slightly earlier on maybe. You can get away with putting a very difficult section after a checkpoint. Very much so. Wait on the second one. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the worst parts about water physics, I actually I like water physics, Mega Man water physics, is that if you mess up your jump, you immediately know it, and yet it still takes a solid like second for you to die. So the game's dramatically like you fucked up. Little trumpets appear in the corners. Yes. Oh my god, I almost died on those spikes. Oh, I would have lost my mind. Okay. Well, obviously don't put a checkpoint right before that. I guess just make it easier. It works well as a final challenge. But it, work, it works too well as a final challenge. I guess what I'm trying to get at. Okay. We made it. Splash room is going to be easy compared to that. That's because I have an E-Tank. That E-Tank won't carry over the next level, so. Guess I'll use it now. It's one of the key things to keep in mind between um, making like a, a full game in a level versus like a level pack is that any like E-Tanks or M-Tanks that you give the player, they're just gonna use up in that level Yeah. I can see why I got the dislikes. I think it was a good level overall, but that... Those last, like, two screens were a bit much. Alright. Open wall to the left, but no secret. Sag. Oh, that. Y you do that, huh? <laughs> it's what I get for not having played all Mega Man games. I'm working on it. It's a lag. Let's go, magnets. Cool. 
cool. I hope this is a setup to do cooler things than just put me over a pit with them. Alright. Maybe later on they'll come back as a thing. Absolutely own. Another drop shadow missing. No, I hate these things. Because, so normally, I, um, whenever it appears in front of me, I would jump on it, I would follow it along. But people will design it in such a way that that's not safe. So I have to sit and watch and make sure that it's safe to play them in the way that they're supposed to be played. Ah. Uh, what? Oh, okay. That one was safe, so I'm just going to see that the rest of them in this level are. That's cool. So I guess this is gonna have some magnet stuff in it. I question why the boss isn't magnet man. Magnet. <laughs> I question why the boss isn't magnet man. There's gonna be a ton of magnet stuff in this level. But yeah. These blocks are at their best. Oh, another ladder on the health. These blocks are at their best used whenever um you're just like reacting and jumping to the next one. But at their worst it's Oh, the next one's right above me. I needed to jump um, before it appeared, and now I'm falling, and I'm dead. Okay. That's cool. I like that. At first, I was like, well, what's the point of that? I jumped into it, and I was like, oh, wait, no, I can't get out. And then I jumped, and I was like, oh, yeah, you can jump to escape magnets. If the intention of that section is to teach you that you can do that, then it works very well. Alright. Consider my initial- oh, uh oh. Okay, that's- I don't like that. I was just saying like, oh, consider my initial groans irrelevant. And then that happened. I mean, that one, it was low enough that you could jump around it, but I think that's an unreasonable amount of precision to expect. Oh, no. You did it again. Why? <laughs> I don't know why people do this. I will never understand. It is not... It's... I don't... You know. Don't do it. It's as bad as, like, blind jumps in Mario Maker. Just, like, don't. The player can't possibly know if that's what they're supposed to do. And it... It just sucks. I don't... Don't do that. Especially in a, in a really long section like this. Like, Mega Man 1 kind of does it, but you're in like a... It's like an Iceman's pool or whatever. So, when you fail, you just fall down. It's like, oh, okay, I need to do that. But this is a really long section where you can't memorize where they are. <sighs> and it's obviously not safe. Maybe I'll memorize it by the time I finally overcome it. So I'll just do it like this. Just jump before every single one. That works, but uh, that's not a... I don't know. I don't know. That's a workaround for bad design. And if it's the intention... Ah... Uh, if you intend the player to jump on every single one, then create a section that's safe, that teaches the player that they should jump on every single one. And then, have you can have a long section like that. You've earned it. 
She taught the player the concept. Interesting. Pot shot. Pot shot. He didn't get pot shot in. Here we are. Get up. Get up. My guy's camping. Hit me. Oh my god. Yeah, that, I don't think this this um this arena got the proper play testing. Maybe it'll just never do that again. And that'll explain why the maker never found that. Nope, immediately. What am I hitting? What am I... What are my charge shots hitting? Mega Man 5 charge shot bad. 6 supremacy. Maybe it is the intention for him to get stuck down there, but... Then I critique the fact that you can't charge shot him. Oh, now he's powered up. Oh, that actually makes it. What? You don't do that. <laughs> All right. I think Banker teaches this boss are fairly obvious. Let's try this actually, because he's jumping up into a little range for a small amount of time. So. This will just cover that range. So I jumped into it. Boop. Oh, wait. Is that his weakest? Oh, yeah, that works, I guess. I tore through him. Damn. Alright, well. I dislike the boss arena. wasn't like insufferable but yeah number four i think something key with any level you make is just to play test it yourself a ton before you release it to anyone um so you can see that things work as you intend them to it's pretty hard to judge your own, like, difficulty and, like, secret placement. But, there's a lot that you can, you're like, oh, okay, this, this doesn't play well. This doesn't interact the way I want it to. Yeah. Refight? Please, please. Let's go, dude. Oh, I love refights. I wonder if this Wily is a, is a level pack that I'm missing here. Or if these Y levels will create an isolation. Either way, what do we think? Maybe? Nope. Wasn't sure there. No. I'll find the weakness. 
not to worry. Definitely snake. Snake OP, please nerf. It's not snake. <laughs> Probably not fire. I'll try it, I guess. Um, maybe. I don't know if you can really make a boss weak to the mirror thing. All right, excuse me. I was I had shine activated, so uh, I disapprove. All right, what did I not try? Bubbles, sure. Skull. You gotta move to something. Nope. I try. I don't think I tried hornets. I don't think so. I didn't do a lot of damage. I guess that's it. But like, isn't that its own weapon? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Doesn't really make sense. And like, none of the weaknesses make sense, but... Yeah. Okay. I gotta figure it out. Wake up! Die! Ah, got him. Cool. So, not fire, not thunder. Hmm. All right. Gravity old maybe. Snake. Well, that's it. Figured as much. I think having a health respawn in here is a bit of a bold choice. I suppose it's kind of necessary since you can't, since you're doing a key thing, you can't have the bosses drop health. So there is that. Bees.
Not it. No, we already was fire. Bubble. Bubble. Bubble best ball. Get him. What's up? Alright, not that. Noise? Come at me. No way. Good. I was gonna say. That's, that's just like a direct counter design wise already. Oh. I think that's it. That one's skull. It's interesting. It's a wide boss right now. I like it. Uh, which one haven't I done? This one? Okay. Like, let's be real. I was like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> if that's attended, that's very cool. Down here. Uh, Weak to noise. Okay, I think Horn is it. Oh! I didn't mean to do this, but hell yeah. I love this thing. I guess Buster's is best against that guy. Sure. How is there water there with no water? Maybe there's an invisible water thing for space sections. Whatever. Do this one? Yes. I just hit the lower right. Six. Okay, I have the first two to left. Alright, you're the easy. Kill you with yourself. That's deep. It's not.
Alright, one more. Can't mess this up. That'd be ridiculous. It's actually not possible. See? <laughs> what do you mean, tempt fate? It's ridiculous. What was this guy we could do again? Oh, yeah, fire this, the ice guy. Easy. I'm actually gonna go down through here to heal up. Why not? And here we are. Oh. Okay. Simeon, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a big animated boss. And I was like, no, of course it won't. <laughs> Fighting this guy Buster only is pretty fun. No, it's so close. Any shot. <laughs> Sorry, it's over. It's over. I'm putting up pot shots and everything. Watch this. Bam, right off the bat. Oh, no, you you sly dog. I said dead. I'm always right. <laughs> cool. I think the biggest uh, thing with that level is that by having the making the bosses drop keys, you um, I don't know. It desensitizes you from even actually trying to fight the boss, really. It's just find their weakness and then out damage tank them. And then you just full heal. Uh, so I think the balancing could use some work. You could, um, you could feasibly have there already be a key in the room, have the boss drop health. And then, cause like you can't leave the room until you defeat the boss anyways. So I think you could feasibly just have there be a key right where you spawn, or just in the room, and then have the boss drop health. That's uh, that's my critique. It would definitely make the level much harder, but it, I think it would fix the difficulty. All right, now. Oh wow. Very good ratings on this one. <sighs> Getting music. Spike drop section. What's going on here? Maybe just supposed to be a climactic thing? Yeah, it's supposed to be a climactic thing. See, but... I got... Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is interesting. I like. Okay, what do I have that can... You can stop!
Cool hells are good. Dude. Dude, that's the most annoying place. Oh my god. Stop. 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 Wait, why can't I hit him? Oh, Bubble's getting it done as per usual. Try this thing. It usually destroys bosses. This guy kind of stands in one place, so. Alright. I win. I win. This weapon's too good. I think it's a good choice to be at the final boss. That's a very that's a very final boss esque attacks. Boss did this one, is what I'm talking about. Oh. Yes. I'm just gonna, yeah. All right. Oh, I win. Easy. Okay. I was gonna say nobody even found a way to make the teleporter like appear, delay, then take me to a second phase. That would have been really cool. But yeah, that's cool. Um. Yeah, that's a it's a fine pack. I think, um, overall, my critique, um, there's obviously some bouncing issues, and the aesthetics were basic, which is, I guess, is fine, but yeah, um, I liked it, though, I really liked it, that was fun, thanks for sharing.